Hello and welcome to Module 6.1. So in this video, we're going to look at an overview of all global navigation satellite system, all the GNSSs from all these different countries and regions. And so what we're going to do just in this video is look at what's common amongst all these different systems. And then in the subsequent videos, we'll look at the details of each of those commonalities. So the framework we're going to use to, that shows us what's common What's common among satellites? Kind of like people. Uh, they come from somewhere, they live somewhere, and they say something in their own language. So where the satellites live, of course, is in the orbits. And so let's take a look at that in a bit more detail. Uh, so what, what you're seeing here is uh, across the top, you've, you've, uh, you can see the Earth. And the green zone from the left edge of that green bar to the right edge is it's basically where all the satellites can be found. And then below the white line, you can see that green bra shrunk down. Yeah, so that we can fit to scale the moon out here. So the moon of once upon a time was the only satellite orbiting the Earth. And everything else is a man-made satellite. And a lot of people, you'll hear people talk about artificial satellites or man-made satellites. And that's what we mean when we say satellites. So, uh, Everything below the lines, just to give you an idea of scale of where uh, our satellites live compared to the moon. And now let's focus uh, above the white line. Uh, so all the man-made satellites, there are over a thousand of them in operation orbiting the Earth right now. And more than half of those thousand are low Earth orbit satellites, which are all in this zone here. So these are LEO low Earth orbit satellites. And most satellites that you've heard of, apart from GPS, are there. So for example, the very first man-made satellite, Sputnik, uh, was in an orbit at that altitude right there. Uh, the International Space Station, it's a space station, but nonetheless a satellite orbiting the Earth, that's, that's there, a slightly higher orbit than Sputnik was. Hubble Space Telescope is there. Spy satellites, weather satellites are all in that LEO orbit. Any satellite you can see with your naked eye, if you go out at night and you see a little dot moving across the sky and it's a satellite, that's a low Earth orbit satellite. So that's over 500 of those. And at the other end of the green line, we have geo satellites, uh, geostationary satellites, for example, and something called geosynchronous satellites, GSOs. And we'll, we'll talk about those in more detail as we proceed uh, through the different modules of Section 6. Uh, GEOs, um, there's 400 of them approximately. And most of them are communication satellites. And you interact with them almost certainly because your television signals come from mostly come from geostationary satellites. And they are at the, they're all at the same orbit. And uh, some of them affect GPS, the SBAS satellites, which you learned about in some previous lectures from Professor Anger, they are geostationary satellites, and we'll see them again later. And then in between the GEOs and the LEOs, we have the MEOs, medium Earth orbit satellites, and that's where we find most of our GNSS satellites, GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, and Galileo, all clustered like that, as you see. And so that's the home of all our satellites. Now let's move on and look at the signals. So what we're going to show uh, in a way as a way of explaining the similarities and differences of all the system are the amplitude spectra. So a quick review of that. Uh, we start with Fourier series. Remember that Fourier showed that every periodic function can be written as the sum of sinusoids, no matter what periodic function you have. And so I'm just showing two particular ones here. If you have a, a sinusoid itself, then of course it can be written as a sinusoid. It is a sinusoid. So, so the carrier wave that we've been talking about uh, in this class, cosine with frequency L1, if you show that as amplitude spectra, spectrum, we just show that as an arrow at L1 frequency. And then suppose we modulate that carry wave as we do with the PRN code x of t, which you'll remember from module 4. So that's the PRN code, which is changing 
sine from plus one to minus one and changing the signal, then what we get is we, we get our famous sync function, which you've seen a couple of times before in the class. And that's what the amplitude spectra will look like for the GPS CA code. So you remember that all of this together formed what we call the BPSK binary phase shift keyed signal, which was the sine wave changing phase every now and again. And what it looks like in terms of the amplitude spectra is just that sync function. So when you see that, you know that that's something like uh, the GPS CA code. And by understanding that, that basic thing, it helps you to be able to understand something that's quite looks quite complicated on the face of it, such as this. There's all the spectra for all of GNSS. Uh, but So it looks like a big old mess, but we're going to dig into it one at a time, and then you'll see things like that CA code showing up. There it is. And we'll just look at these one line at a time as we go through the different systems. There's GPS, Galileo, GLONASS, Beidou. So that's our introduction for this module, and the, the other videos will show you the satellite systems one at a time.